Okay, this section is for uh, one, or this tutorial is for 1.5, the trigonometric functions in the unit circle type of uh, work. Now, what 1.5 is, is there's not a ton of questions in that, uh, that section, but the unit circle and the trigonometric ratios and the special triangle relationships are very, very important in it. And we're going to derive the whole unit circle in our notes. We've probably done it in class already. But I'm going to redo a little bit of it here in case it was a difficult uh, proposition for you. And what I'm going to do here is I just recall that the six trigonometric ratios for 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degree, uh, the three primary ratios, all come from those special triangles. And here they are in table format. You can find this table somewhere in your textbook. Uh, let me find it here. On uh, page 29, there's a nice one there. And they also give you the trigonometric ratios. I just did the three fundamental ratios. Now what I've done is I put it in degrees and in radians. These are the radian measures and these are the degree measures. So the sine of zero is always zero. The sine of pi over six radians is a half. The sine of pi over four radians is root two over two and so forth. Now the one thing you have to be aware of when you're using the unit circle and setting up a reference angle and that's what I've got down here. I've kind of started it already. And I'm just going to go through the point, first of all, that we're going to look at. And that's in the first quadrant. So this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, and so forth. And what I've done here is I've, I've got the 45 degree angle reference angle in here. I've got the 45 degree reference angle in here. I've got the 45 reference degree angle in here. And I've got the 45 reference angle in there. So they will all have the same values for uh, our values uh, for our point of sine and cosine. Okay, so if you look at the first point, now uh, you have to remember that when you're looking at this point, because this is a unit circle and this radius is considered to be one always, okay, so that would mean that a sine of, of uh, this angle, 45 sine, is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine would be this number, this y value here. So sine would be the second point. And cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse. This side here, this x side. So the cosine is the x side over the hypotenuse, or x over r, and the, and the sine is y over r. So that means the values for x and y can be found by using cosine and sine. Or x and y for this point up here is also cos theta, sine theta. Meaning x is equal to cos theta and y is equal to sine theta. Because in the unit circle there is a distance of 1 in the unit circle. So that having that, knowing that, we would only just, all we have to do here to find what x and y are is find what cos and sine are. So we look it up in our table here. Well, pi over 2 or sorry, not pi over 2, root 2 over 2 is sine, right there, the second one. And cos is also the same. And because it's in the first quadrant, we know that the x point is positive and the y point is positive. Both are positive. Now, if we go and we add our reference angle, if this is 45 degrees, we know that this angle here ends up being 135 degrees. Or if we want to convert that into radians, that's 3 quarters pi radian. Again, it gives you the same values of root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. However, we see that in this case, the x point is negative, so there's a negative in front of it when we derive that. Okay, and here we have the same thing. We go into the third quadrant. This is 45 degrees, so if we take 180 and another 45 here, that's 225 degrees. Or if it's in radians, it's 5 over 4 pi radians. And x and y are both negative, so it's negative root 2 over 2 and negative root 2 over 2. And here in the fourth quadrant, another 45 degree angle, so that's 315 degrees. And if we look at the radian measure, it's uh, 7 over 4 pi because we had to add another uh, pi over 2 to it, or 90 degrees if you like. And what we have here is our values here. And again, which one is negative? Well, because it's going down, the y is negative and the x is positive. So we've derived all of the, or in the unit circle, the 
values for uh, 45 degrees. Now I'm going to do one more live as well on the unit circle in the next video. I'm going to do and start right from scratch to show you how I drew this here uh, part for the unit circle.